Hey guys, I'm Syntax Break, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a Roblox data stores. Let's get started. So, let's start by making some stats, right? We'll go to Serve Script Service and add a script. We'll just call this Elite Stats. Next, we'll just detect when the player joins the game. So, we'll say game.players.player added colon connect function open bracket player and hit enter now we want to make a folder called lead stats so you can say local lead stats equals instance dot new folder and we'll say lead stats dot name is equal to lead stats make sure that it's spelled with a lowercase l and we'll say lead stats dot parent equals player now for this video i'll be making two things i'll be making a cache and uh, a gems as found in most games to do that we'll just say local cache equals actually what we'll do is instead of typing we'll just copy this and paste it twice change both of these to int values and rename these so we'll just say cash, 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 and we'll say gems, 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 and we'll just rename this to cash, rename this to gems, parent this to lead stats, and parent this to lead stats as well. Now, if we test it out, we should have a gems stat and a cache stat in on the leaderboard if you don't have this make sure that in the in your player you've parented it correctly and make sure that leader stats is spelled as you see on screen before we start like using data stores we need to allow roblox studio to interact with them right so we want to go to game settings make sure to publish your game to use data stores go to security and turn on the second toggle enable studio access enable studio access to api services and let's click save now back in our script we'll start by making a table of all of our data because instead of just manually saving the cache the gems whatever we're gonna loop through the player and we're gonna make a table of all of the data this makes it easy so like if you want to i don't know if you want to make a third stat call it kills or something you don't need to really go around everywhere and add stuff so it saves kills it'll just do it automatically so we can say for actually Let's start by saving data because that might be easier. We'll say game dot players dot player removing colon connect function open bracket player. Now in here, let's loop through the players lead stats folder to see what data they have to save. Save. So we can say for underscore comma stat in pairs player but lead stats actually let's just say local lead stats equals player hold on find first child lead stats just make sure they have it in case they don't for some reason we'll just say in pairs in lead stats do now we're going to be using a dictionary not a normal array this means that so we're going to be using dictionaries instead of arrays and what that is is instead of it just like being there for each item there's going to be a name along with the data so in a dictionary you can say this dictionary and you can reference a specific item so you could say this this dictionary coins and it'll give you the value specifically for coins which is pretty cool to do this let's make another table outside of here called local saved data make it a blank table 
in here we'll say saved data square brackets stat dot name is equal to stat dot value let's wrap this in a if statement to make sure that this is like if this is a value right because maybe you might have other stuff so we'll just say if stat colon is a int value make sure that if you are using other items such as string values as well that you add that to the if statement now that is that should loop through everything and save it in a table now what we want to do is we want to actually save this table to the Dropbox data stores we'll start by referencing them up here it's a local data store service equals game colon get service data store service and in the data store service you can have multiple data stores we'll just make one by saying local my data store equals data store service colon get data store my data store then back in our player removing function we'll say local success from our error message equals p call function enter and now what a p call is is may is like in case the script errors it's not gonna cancel the whole script instead it's just gonna put this error message into the variable over here and continue on this is useful because for example maybe the roblox data stores are down right at the moment and if our script does something like my data store colon set async to send data over and the data stores are down that's going to error and we don't want our script to stop working now inside of the p call we'll just say my data store Hold on set async we'll give it a key this is the name we want to have for the data so think of this as a variable where it's local item name it's local name equals value right so here the name is our key let's say player.user id and the value is what we want to save so we want to save our saved data right now the reason we use the user id is because this is unique to every player and it can't change unlike a username and let's just say if success then print our player dot name data was saved else we we'll say print player dot names data was not saved and we'll also give the error message by saying one error message one is basically like print but instead of this normal white text it's bold and in orange so it sticks out after we are done doing that we just want to do the opposite right for our loading data we want to get the saved data table and we want to dig out all of our information from it to do that we'll first start by getting the data so we'll say local success from our error message equals pcall function enter here we'll say data or oh, actually it's defined data out of here so local data saved data S saved data is equal to my data store hold on get async right so this time we are retrieving the data with the specific key you want to make sure this is the same key so player dot user id and we don't need a value obviously because we're retrieving it 
and we'll say uh, nil so if we can't find anything it's a nil actually no if saved data then they have some saved data we'll start by decompiling it so we'll say for stat name comma stat data or stat value in pairs saved data we'll just say if if leader stats and then in square brackets stat name so in our player model if there is a stat with the saved things name then we'll just say leader stats stat name is equal to stat name value is equal to stat value and if not if they have no save data so we'll just say else they are a new player we'll give them some starter cache so we'll just say cache dot value equals 20 gems dot value equals five let's also just do a quick check Let, let's actually say if success then and let's add the if save data for loop inside there let's do else so if it's not a success we we'll just say if success sorry if success will say print player dot names data was retrieved successfully and if it was not retrieved so if it's not a success we'll say print player dot names data was not retrieved successfully and once again we'll just say one error message now if i have not forgotten anything this should work as intended so let's just go hit play uh table expected got instance okay uh in pairs it should be leader stats put on get children okay let's try that again we have our start amount let's switch that up by Opening leader stats, go into cash, let's make this 200. And let's make gems 25. We'll stop the game again. Uh, we don't have any messages. Why is that? Uh, hmm. Set async. We don't have any chat messages. That's a bit concerning. But anyway, let's just check if the data was saved. No, it wasn't saved. Why is, why is that? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, now it says it was saved. That's, that's weird. Give me a moment and I will check why that's happening. All right so what's happening is that when the like game shuts down like when we leave since we're the last players it's actually shutting down the server before we can like finish saving to stop this we'll just go down here and say game colon bind to close function and we'll just say wait five seconds maybe just for our data to save if we go try this out one last time give ourselves a different amount of data so 200 cash and 25 gems mix it up and we can see our data was saved now this time if we join the game our data should load and as you can see our cache is 200 and our gems is 25 that's really cool now there's a plugin i use a lot called data stores editor uh, which basically lets you see your data stores like the data in your data stores so just for this video i'll show you so i'll just connect to my data store and I'll just say list keys and as you can see my user ID has a dictionary in it that says cache 200 gems 25 and if I were to change this that would also change my saved data 
I'll put a link to this plugin down in the description. However, it is paid, so just keep that in mind. And with that, I think we are done. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like it. If you did not like it, dislike and tell me why in the comments. Also, put a comment for any video suggestions you want in the future and any issues you are having. I'll try my best to help with them. Please make sure to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in a future video.